Imagine a future where we're all eating insects. In the fight against food waste, it might be closer than you think. These black fly larvae might not look that appetizing, but they yield a high quality protein. They're being farmed in a small facility under the rail arches by London Bridge. Oh, the smell. Oof. First, black soldier flies are encouraged to mate in an artificial and controlled environment. Their eggs are then extracted and the baby larvae are fed food waste from local businesses. So we collect food waste such as coffee and beer waste, we process it and then we put it into feeding units where we add baby larvae. We wait for a 12 day cycle and they've left behind a fertiliser. So we now then can separate the larvae from the fertiliser and then use the fertiliser to grow new crops and obviously use the larvae to dry and turn into the products. Nothing goes to waste. The main product for now is fish food, but the insect protein powder could eventually be sold for human consumption. Founder Kieran believes he's producing the most efficient and environmentally friendly protein source on the planet. That's important because the UN says around a third of all food produced globally every year is wasted. That's 1.3 billion tonnes, or a trillion US dollars. And that means wasted water, wasted land, wasted energy, wasted money, and greater greenhouse gas emissions. Perfect uh, business would be to go into the gym industry and to people who want high protein, low fat diets, because it is incredibly high quality protein. You know, I mean, your vegetable based proteins have an amino acid profile around here, while your meat based proteins. But of course, all other meat based proteins have that environmental degradation. The question really is why wouldn't you eat insects? There isn't a why not. And would you eat an insect? Go on then, let's, let's give it a go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm. Quite nutty, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. With some added salt and chilli, I'd even go as far as saying the black fly larvae could taste pretty good with a cold beer. In the same London Bridge unit, SafetyNet has developed technology to combat waste in commercial fishing. The UN says around 27% of fish caught are lost or wasted. Bycatch can include juvenile fish, protected species or crustaceans, which are then thrown back into the sea, often dead. We design lights that fit into fishing nets like this, called Pisces, and we use these to help guide fish out of the nets by selectively communicating with them, if you like, based on what they can see. You communicate with the fish, how does, how does that happen? So we turn these lights on and some fish can see some colours, so for instance like a blue light um, if you're a particular species of fish, and other fish maybe can't see that so well. So we might light up one part of the net like Las Vegas and make it really bright and obvious and they're like, what's that? And they'll swim over and look at it and find their way out, and the other fish will swim past as if there's nothing really going on, and that helps us separate species out. Household waste is a big part of the problem too. UK households on average waste the equivalent of seven meals a week. Tessa Clark was so stunned at the scale of the problem that she founded Olio, a mobile app that lets consumers with unwanted food connect with neighbours living nearby, who might take it off their hands. Food waste as an issue has not yet had its moment, but it is growing rapidly in terms of the level of public consciousness around the scale of this problem. Um, but I very much hope that food waste is going to be considered in the same way as, as plastic waste now is. It is completely unacceptable. It's going to take someone who is really sort of a mainstream leader to step forward and to highlight to the world the scale of this problem and the immediacy with which we need to solve it. Tech startups are doing their bit, but there are low-tech ways to reduce food waste too. One of the most simple solutions is raising awareness. Most of us don't realise just how much we're throwing away or how much it's costing. It's costing us on average in the UK about £60 a month. That's for a family of four, that's over £700 a year. The most important thing is we understand that we waste food in the first place, understand how much we're actually wasting, this is particularly true in businesses, and then taking simple steps to actually reduce it. You know, check, you know, make a list before you go shopping if you're in the home. For business, the critical thing is to operationalise food waste measurement. The UN's Sustainable Development Goals aim to half global food waste at the retail and consumer level by 2030. Tech startups can play their part, and maybe one day insects will be on the menu. But understanding how much we waste in the first place is at least the first step to hatching a solution.